All right, guys, Jeff Wu here in San Juan, Puerto Rico. We just got the jet, we got a ketone IQ shot. Pow. So what are we doing in town? I actually come to Puerto Rico probably four or five times a year, but actually haven't spent that much time in San Juan. Usually I'm in Dorado, which is basically a wealthy resort neighborhood. Of course, we have to have a business reason why we're here. Jake is gonna knock out someone tomorrow night. So we're gonna come and support, probably just show you a little bit behind the scene in the fight business and the post fight celebrations, and maybe give you a sneak peek on some of the business ideas we are jamming on and launching soon. So a lot of interesting sports as well as business in this episode. Not much to say otherwise. Let's just get into it. Jeff is like the plug. This guy's a genius. Gotta like actually eat pals along the way. That can be helpful, let me know. Business, business, business. Jeffrey's yeah. mic'd up. Yeah! Necesito practicar mi español. I can understand a little bit. Yo, Zach. Oh, Yo, what's up, up dude? Good to see you, man. Fun First place, time man. in PR? Dude, yeah, hell yeah, Mike's up here somewhere. So, dude, what's good up? to see you in person. Yeah, good to see you too. We're going to the Seattle Seahawks is like the next team to go on the bike. Well, like, you should just buy, like, just try to buy both of one, right? Like, we can't. But, like, flip one. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'll flip it, I'll trade you. The NFL, like, doesn't want that. They want you to be, like, a long term. They don't want to. Older. They, they don't want, like, they want someone like to flip the team. <laughs> and be like, I've made a billion dollars in a year flipping the team. Yeah. It's a bad look. If you had to transfer wealth for a hundred years, like what asset would you buy? I feel like real estate. I feel like that might be a hot take answer, but like, I don't even bought like, I don't even know, like so Soho. Would you buy? Imagine you bought Soho 1920. Like, I, like, I don't even know how much that's worth today. Like, but your entry price is still high now, right? But even then a hundred years is like a long time. Like if you, you could make the argument, hey, I'm gonna buy Detroit when it was cool. And now like you're fucking dead. But I feel like teams are not bad. If you, if American culture is still alive in a hundred years, like a football team's pretty good. Yeah. It's, like, it's actually a pretty good store of value. Like for a large chunk or in a single asset, like it's pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. Like I don't know where we would put the amount we put into the commanders into a single thing when I'm feeling as comfortable. Yeah. You know, like unless like the NFL disappears, I, I, don't, I don't see a scenario where that happens. Yeah. I think what you've done really well is the promotion. Obviously, your marketing is actually quite good as well, right? Like, I think when you think about Jake as a boxer, he's really changed the business and marketing side. You've also done a good job doing that as well. Because of my team. Okay. I have a very strong team. Like These guys? These guys, <laughs> yeah. This is also my team. Yeah. He's handling my social media stuff and everything. Yeah. And he's a big boxer also. Okay. <laughs> Who's the rap? <laughs> Slim, dude, good to see you, brother. Oh, bro, how you doing, man? You good? It's interesting to see you in Riyadh to hear. Yeah, yeah. Everything you been good? good? Everything good, man. I'm sitting there. You yeah, been good? good? I'm good, man. Just chilling, bro. Enjoying it. When's excited, your next bro. one? My next one? Um, I don't know, Wayne. I'm getting a lot of opportunities right now. I'm just trying to wait a message to see what's best for me. You know? yeah. Slim is awesome. Hey, hey, now you are awesome, bro. My guy right now, bro. <laughs> in Riyadh, now we out here in uh, Puerto Rico, man. Yeah, I, basically, I only see this guy traveling the world. We gotta see him knock out someone out very, very soon. So. I'm, I'm excited for Jay Cole though tomorrow. What, what round do you have not winning tomorrow? I, 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 one I, round. I, one I think one. it might be round one again, actually. Round one again? What do you think? The most, I'm saying under three rounds, the most. That's what I'm thinking. Let's just see you tomorrow. Yeah, again. see you tomorrow. Yeah, see you soon. What's up, bro? How are you? Good, good, good. You good? You good? I'm fucking great. How are you? You ready to roll? We need the prediction. Bro, I'm going with two to four rounds. I think he had Clipperman two to four rounds. I want to, I want him to go two to four rounds. You don't. You want to slow it down. You don't think the I, first round early KO? I, I see it happening. Yeah. Anything that that we know can happen. I want him to come out a little more poised, set up. Ryan feels a little like punk drunk to me. Yeah. He, he's definitely either way. He's been in there. Okay. He kind of, he's kind of terrible. He's tough. Okay. I haven't. So, so, and a part of me wants to knock out. Yeah. Because he's durable. Yeah. But also, I want to, I want Jake to showcase his talent. Yeah. But there was a lot of like business stuff happening in March. I'm proud of y'all, man. A lot of work, man. A lot of work behind the scenes. Yeah, so. right, right, right. A lot of work behind the scenes from you. Yeah. So, like, uh, but, I really but it, 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 it all, it all yeah. comes together, right? Yeah. The future is so fucking bright. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, we're really blessed. This is, what a great time to be alive. Top for you right now. I mean, I think what Galeon's referring to, we're launching a big brand. So that's like, I mean, that's going to be a big push. It doesn't make sense for Jake to invest or we give money to buy in and then Jake promotes, it's like, yeah, then we gotta own like the company. But yeah, I mean, I think mainly incubations, we're doing smaller venture bets, but okay. I think it's like concentrating our own positions, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. 
like we've invested in 60 plus companies together okay. and it's like oh, back back, yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, yeah yeah what are typical investment size we've done like 100k to about upwards of like a mil we led a 50 million dollar round okay i mean i would say average check size 250 500 okay. we're trying to be like fewer checks larger positions are you picking investments that you can align to his brand as well he can get sometimes sometimes you know, right like like we like enterprise software plays okay right but like jake not doesn't necessarily going to help an ai right. company sell yeah, more yeah. ai to like a right. enterprise yeah, yeah, yeah. but like those are good investments won the race we got it done Good job. I don't know how it happened, oh, but we did it. How you just, he dominated today. It was I know, I saw the replay. Incredible performance. It was crazy. I never ran a five-minute mile in my life. But it felt like you wanted it more. It's all mental. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, a, that's a mental battle. You wanted to like throw up? or I blacked out. Don't remember the last lap. and just like almost full body cramp, and that was it. But hey, Derek's a competitor, but it's hard. There you go. Right. You get it, Jeff. I know you get it. Hard. Hard. So it takes. Yes, Don't give up. What's up, vlog? This is day two in San Juan, Puerto Rico. Tonight is fight night. War Jake. We're also gonna root for Amanda Serrano. She's the queen of the island, one of the greatest woman boxers ever. Look at our continent highlights. It's been part of the team for a while. So excited to support her as well. Should be a fun night. It's interesting to meet some of the other influencer boxers or boxers out there. I think just seeing the growth of uh, Jake's boxing platform was valuable promotions. It's really cool to go from influencer boxer to legit world champions. Boxers are showing up. Saw Terrence uh, Crawford out there. So really cool to see legit pro boxers showing up, supporting an event. And I think uh, we should run into it and chat with some of these guys later tonight. To me, it's a good reminder of keep showing up, put out great product, great service, entertain folks, and it'll be an overnight success where you're not just participating in the sport or participating in the business, you're taking that business over. So inspiring for me to see and a reminder for me in how I apply business. Keep at it, keep showing up, keep participating. And as you participate and pace the industry, you at some point can lead the industry. And essentially we're seeing that transition happening in front of our eyes. Super cool to watch. What's up, man? Pull up a chair. Asher and I met probably what, three years ago in Miami. I, mean, I, I think we just crossed paths a lot with a lot of shared friends in Puerto Rico and Miami, but he is recently the CEO of a public, like one of the largest Bitcoin miners, or like the largest. Are you guys like the largest? Yeah, so by operations, like we, our model is different. We're like a bunch of people mine Bitcoin, the facilities mine Bitcoin. We like want to go scale. So we have self-mining. We have like a co-location business where we have the infrastructure and people give us their miners. And then we have a managed services business where we go and operate and build facilities for other people. So across the three, we manage the most amount of Bitcoin mining across the country, yeah. Hey, what's up, Jasper? You celebrating tonight? Like very casual tomorrow. Well, okay. Day party? Yeah. All right, go if you got more. Yeah. I'll be, I'll leave you tomorrow night, so I'll drop by. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to at least celebrate a little bit with the boys, right? Absolutely. And then you have to. It's only right. Yeah, yeah. We're about to get the W. The hell is it? Let's see. And then the famous Netflix no, no. documentary. Okay, uh, cool. The documentary on intermittent fasting. Oh, on sure. No way. He showed me about fasting. I, I okay. Started, yeah. I started fasting because of him. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Excited? Yeah. Uh, yeah. The house, he was good. Yeah. He was chilling. He yeah. was, he was like, this is great. We, we cut the helicopter off when we got back to the neighborhood early. He was like, I'm just going to hang out in the house. Dude, crypto's really ripping, dude. What the fuck? It's crazy because we're close. To, we're back close to all-time highs, and no one's talking about it. You have a price target to so dump. My buddy right here is a big technical analysis guy. Yeah, yeah. He shoot. He thinks if we break sixty nine thousand before happening, yeah. his price prediction is one forty five. One forty five. Which actually makes sense. <laughs> No, we got we have a we have a price target. We have a price target. 145k BTC. Let's go. What's up? Good to see you, Adam. Good. You doing well? You excited? Just, not scared. No, I'm not scared. But I love that not knowledge. Drop it. We like a little bit of entertainment. The last time it was too quick. I think it's gonna be early. I think I'm I, I think a first round knockout actually. 
I feel like Jake's dialed in. I feel like the other guy's slow. I think, no, I think so. Okay. I, do. I don't know what we're betting on, but we're betting on something. That one's better. <laughs> you got Jake or you got the other guy? Jake. What round? I don't know. I don't know. Early? You, don't you guys feeling good? Yeah. I like the red color. Yeah, right. Jake, like, we gotta right. keep it for longer than this one event. I know. Like, I don't think a man is gonna happen. Exactly. They can't meet but you good? Thanks, good? Yeah, he's, he's just channeling all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see him, man. Jake dialed in. Let's fucking go, brother. Looking good. Oh! Let's go. First round, let's go. Let's go, Jake. Put him down. Put him down. Put him down. Oh! Outside, people yeah, going yeah, crazy. Here too. Everywhere they do. Bro, you remember Woody, right? That's a great fight. That's a fight. Oh, I know. Oh, man. I know. I still have, I, I have, I have to watch it again because I was in the corner. I want to see the other angle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's a little overwhelming out there. I mean, I felt like the island was rooting for you with the Gaio chant. That was oh, cool. That's crazy. That was great. No, no crowd ever roots for me. No, I, I know. I've been to like, it's just like. Yes. Jake's a hero now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. We love Jake Paul. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I was just smiling. What's, up, my yeah. what's, what's he doing now? Probably with the BS podcast thing. Oh, fuck. You over right now? Fun night. Glad I called it. Pure luck, honestly, but some good intuition. Really sad to have the main event get canceled. I think really commendable for Jake and the MVP team to get full refunds. Sounds like. They're returning a million and a half dollars. So what I heard was a profitable event is now going to be a big penal hit, and it's tough. I mean, this is a business person. That's, rough. That's really rough to go from positive unit economic, highest gate in Puerto Rico history, to losing millions of dollars. I know the team, Jake, Nikisa, Mitch. Those guys are really good businessmen, and they'll figure out how to, you know, recruit, move on, go to the next event, instead of see Amanda back in the ring. But overall, I had fun time, obviously a better sweet end. We're out for the rest of the night. Peace. This is actually really crazy. I'm still trying to figure it out. Alright, alright, gotta catch a jet back to Miami, back to real life. Puerto Rico's been awesome. Really glad that Jake had the quick knockout. I think a lot of people were complaining it was too quick, but I was just telling Jake earlier, hey, you took no damage, had a viral KO moment. You got everything you needed to get done. So take that win. There's going to be more wars ahead. Save that for later. We'll see you next vlog. We're out of here.